Hello, so this is going to be the video for the back of the album. What you're going to do is you're going to locate this image, this paper from the 12 by 12, A Christmas Carol. And this is pretty simple. What you're going to do is find the center of your Christmas Carol. And I put my little tick mark, you can kind of see it right here, which is basically right above the A. So you are going to center this whole image with the back of your album. And then you're going to cut the edges. You're going to cut the edges on both sides um, and just cut it so it has that 1 16th of an inch reveal, that small reveal on both, both top to bottom and the sides. So once you have that done, what I did, it was, it's pretty plain. I mean, this is pretty plain once you cut the edges off and the bottom off because you are getting it to fit the, the back of the album. What we're going to do is, is some color blocking. So what I did is I cut this top portion. Oh my gosh, what did I cut it? Five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths, and then I cut a strip of the gold from the patterns and solids. This is it's it's a little over half an inch. It's five eighths of an inch. I put that five eighths of an inch strip down underneath this piece, and then I cut the bottom piece which ended up being about two inches. So you're just cutting basically this Christmas Carol 12 by 12 paper and then doing a little color blocking to break it up. That's all you're doing. <laughs> so once you're done and you have your gold strip in there and you have these two pieces in, you are going to cut out some flowers. There are lots and lots of flowers to cut to fill in these three corners. This is, this is cut out from somewhere. I don't even know. I was cutting out so many. I don't even know where they came from. But you, you will find some just like this. And then I cut out this piece down here. And then this one is actually made from two pieces. I think I cut this piece out from one place and from the 8x8 and then cut the same image out from the 12 by 12 and stacked them on top of each other. And I think I added a little piece down here to extend it. So you're just adding cut apart pieces to fill out these these. Um, corners. So you can kind of see what I did. And then basically you just ink the edges once you figure out what you want and put them down. So these are my edges down here. And this is this corner piece up in here. And then once those were all done, I just picked this image from the 12 by 12. It's a circle image. I hand cut it, ink the edges with, with um, black soot, and then went around it with vintage photo and put that down. And that's it basically for the back cover. A pretty simple back cover. You're just going to be doing some fussy cutting for the corner pieces here. But that's about it. Okay, so we're ready to tackle the spine. So the spine is our bridge piece between the front and the back. So we want it all to kind of flow from one to the other. So I'm going to be using the black, the black, the green. Um, solid and make sure you you ink those edges everything should be inked 
I'm getting my 16th inch reveal. So you measure yours, see what size you need to cut. Mine is eight and oops. Eight and seven. Oops, no, not eight and seven eighths. Eight and three eighths. Almost um, eight and a half by two and a half. I'm not white. I'm not sure why my spine came out a little bit whiter than two and a half. Maybe with all the wrapping. But, but anyway, so that's going to go here, and then I'm going. I cut a piece of chipboard that is shoosh. Oh my gosh, almost eight inches. I mean, it's just a snidgen less than eight inches by two and an eighth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap this chipboard with the dots. So the dots are going to be going on top of the chipboard. So I'm just gonna wrap it like we normally do. Um, our chipboard, I'll have a, a half an inch border all the way around and just going to wrap it and then put it on here. I am thinking of putting a charm and what's good about doing chipboard as a spine piece, if you want to punch a hole and put um, a holder for your charms, you don't have to go through your, your album. You can just go through here. Because I'm thinking I might do that, but I'm not sure. But I don't want to. I don't want to have to go through my album, and it's going to give us some dimension here, so it might actually look pretty cool. So I'm going to put this down and get this guy wrapped up. So I, I have my boop 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 beep beep beep. I have my chipboard piece wrapped. Looks pretty nice. So that's going to go here. That just gives it, you, you can't see the dimension, but that just gives it an extra layer of dimension that looks really cool. Now, I don't think I'm going to add the tassel. It's, it was a Christmas tassel I saw someone made. I just, probably take me another day or two to make it because I've never made one before. What what can you put here? Oh my gosh, there are so many options. And then, then I came back to my door. Okay, what about my door? I cut my door out with Mr. Rabbit because I wanted to use my door. I could put my door on the spine. Isn't he cute? Look at that. I just think, oh my gosh, there's my door. I found a place for him. I think I might use him and then um, double mat this, my happy holidays, put it on chipboard or something and put that up there. I think that would be cute. So I want to come back and show you what the final um, look of the spine was. So I did use the door. So remember this door is from a cut apart from the 12 by 12. And the little bunny is a cut apart from the eight by eight. And I put those obviously down here and did the happy holidays and just backed it on green cardstock so it matched the, the green uh, of the spine. And then just put some um, gold glitter around it just to brighten it up. And then I just made a strip. The strip is a half an inch of green cardstock. I can't see it, but this is just green cardstock here. And I put that from the Happy Holidays all the way down to, oh, well, I can't see it there, all the way down to the door. All the way down to the door. And then I added this. Christmas ribbon from my stash which is three-eighths of an inch wide and then just 
added that to to connect the happy holidays with the door and that's it that's it for the spine i think that looks really nice